welcome to the stream. It's Monday, uh, starting a little bit late, so I'm dispensing with the pre-stream. Oh, I forgot to change the stream title, damn it. Uh, it is not Melee today. It is Prince of Persia on Mondays. One second while I adjust there. Stream info has been updated. I think we're going to finish the game today. We're pretty close to the end. So I, I'm i hoping to finish Prince of Persia today. And that means I've got to decide what we're going to stream next Monday. Oh, turn the lamp on so you... My lighting is better. Uh, make sure this game is showing up on stream. Which... Oh no. Uh, Great. Uh. Oh, there we go. That works. All right. For some reason, my default dolphin source wasn't was it was doing that thing where the window I want is grayed out for some reason. Um, but I also have a backup duplicate redundant window capture, so that one is working, so we'll use that one. Oh, start new game? No, no! That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I missed this uh, song in the chase. This is like... Oh, here we go. Quit. Yes. I'm not starting a new game. I'm loading a save game. Ninety five percent of the way through. Oh god, well, actually, I should, I could use the, I should, the vision is a good refresher, so, no, oh, no, I'm not sure, let's repeat the vision. Wall jump. Ladder. Okay. I think I want to go over here from what I remember. 
Okay, maybe not. Definitely don't want to go down. Oh. Can I not grab onto that? Oh, maybe... No. Oh, I thought that was it. It's... Remember, did we get past the area with all the bats? Oh, here we go. This, yeah, this area definitely looks new. I don't remember this at all, so I think we did get past the area with the bats, finally. Which is not to say that this area won't have bats. It very well might. I just don't know yet. Uh, huh. Whoa, that's the opposite of helpful. Oh wait, there's something... Here we go. I wonder if I can grab onto that. I think so. Uh... Thanks for nothing, camera. We can go two directions, oh dear. Well, let's go this way first, I guess. Oh, okay, this is a dead end. 
that makes it simple. Okay. Oh, I must go. Must have to go this way. Whoa. Oh, turn around. Oh, actually, I might be able to just make that on a on a wall run. Seems like. Yep. That we can make on a wall run. So let's yeah check this out. Oh, is this uh okay? This is water. That was nice of them. Oh god. Bats! I knew it. Death to all bats. Okay. Oops. Okay. That didn't happen. I tried to rewind time. But I forgot that I do not have the dagger anymore. That was a real convenient checkpoint, though, I must say. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I see. Ow, stupid bats. Stupid, stupid bats. Oh. Death to bats. Alright. I like having. Oh, hello. That's. That was almost fatal. Better bats than vultures, I guess. Yeah, you better run. How many times have I said that to the bats? A lot. Oh, I thought I could clamber on that ledge. It's not letting me. Does it want me to wall run and then... Oh, there's a pole there. Okay, that fucking camera angle changed at the worst possible time. No, no, no. Ugh. Oh, checkpoint. Convenient checkpoint is convenient. 
Okay, that's a terrible camera angle. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even see it there. It's like the platform that Indiana Jones walks on at the end of uh, The Last Crusade. It's like really hard to see. Because it's like stone colored against the stone cliff background. I guess I'm just going up. Oh no, I guess. What direction am I facing? Okay. Wee. All right, it's depth perception time. Now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a pole there. It's okay, she'll just rewind time. What? What did she say? Okay, he can rewind time. Oh, I've got no sand power, that's why. Ow. Oh. Ow, fuck. Oh my god. Oh god. Ugh. I continue to suck at the combat sections in this game. She says something right before she kills herself. I want to try and hear it. I don't think she says anything in English. It sounds like she says something in some spell, like she's chanting some spell word. So I, I'm gonna, yeah, because it didn't definitely didn't sound like English. Also, if you grab a dagger like that, there's no way you can hold on to it. The blood, I think, would just cause it to slip right out of your hand. Pretty sure. But uh, in video games, we go by the rule of cool, not by the rule of what's realistic.
Come at me, bros. Ow! Ow, God! I didn't mean it! Go away! Oh my goodness. Well, this is another fine... Okay. I think I need to get out into the middle, because they're swarming me over here. And the emulator is doing these weird lighting issues, I think. Oh, I forgot about that. The wall kick move. Okay, emulator, you can't just do that to me. Uh, is, this, is there, like, torches in this room that the camera is getting? Ugh. section. There we go. Okay, the wall jump attack is FTW for sure. Oh, fuck! More bats. One second, I'm getting a phone call, which is probably a spam call. I'm going to assume that was spam. Okay. Uh, you want to save the game? Yes. So either that vision was the castle's all fixed and back to new, or I'm not sure what else it could have been, because it didn't show me jumping and jiving and whatnot, and it didn't it didn't really show anyone really. The setting sun. Yes. Done. I'll start the door from here. Bravely I have fought and slain my enemy. Honor and glory are mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. Or could I? No. 
I loved dead and I to blame. Oh, I choose death. This belongs to you. The dagger of time. But it is locked away within my father's chasubles. How? Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say these things. Sit down. Let's dance, old guy. Boomer. Let's dance, Boomer. There we go. I will handle this intruder. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, he blocks my wall attack. Missing something here. I 
can't attack this guy at all. Or maybe the dagger? Some time to work there. Oh, did I hurt him? Looks like I might have hurt him there. Volume's a little loud for me, but options. Shall I go on? Sound. Shall I go on? Voices. Shall I go on? Effects. Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Okay, they each have a different, like, swing, it looks like. Oh, I could have hit him there. There we go. Okay, you can't attack the spinny staff. Ow. 
Oh, shit. doing the spinny staff for some reason. Fine by me. Alright, bring on your next puppet, dude. Why not kill him? She knows the true meaning of that word, I guess. No! Oh no! My game crashed! We were so close to the end! That's terrible! This GFX FIFO GFX first in first out unknown opcode 0x02 blah 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 zero bunch of zeros preprocessing equals preprocess false this means one of the following the emulated GPU got desynced disabling dual core can help command stream corrupted by some spurious memory bug this is really an unknown opcode unlikely some other sort of bug further errors will be sent to the video backend log and dolphin will now likely crash or hang enjoy <laughs> no illegal command oh Okay, you guys can't see it, but the credits are rolling. Oh wait, okay, you can see it now. We did it! We, we, we beat the Prince of Persia! I am now the Prince of Persia. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's definitely how it works.
So I'm not sure what he meant by that last little phrase, Kakalukia or whatever it was. I think that's what she said when she died. But I'm not 100% sure. I might have to to look that up. Also, the, the royal vizier was kind of an idiot to admit that he was going to uh, kill the princess when he knew the princess was right there. But that was a fun game. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Minus the combat sections, which were really annoying. This is a cool song, though. I wonder if this song is in the chase. I want to look up Persia Sands of Time. if this song is going to get my stream muted. I hope not. To save the prince... Farah allows herself to fall to her death as the prince mourns over her. The prince offers him eternal life in exchange for the dagger. The prince refuses and stabs the hourglass with the dagger out of rage. It doesn't mention the word that she says right before she falls, though. Time rewinds to before the attack on the Maharaja's palace, and the prince, still in possession of the dagger and his memories, runs ahead to warn Farah of the vizier's treachery. It is now revealed that the prince has been recounting his tale to Farah, and as he finishes, the vizier enters to kill him. The prince kills Vizier and returns to Dagger Fire, who believes his narrative was just a story. Imparting, yeah, the prince mentions a private word she told him during their time in the tomb, leaving her confused. Okay. There isn't anything that I missed, I guess. It's just one of those ambiguous endings. I thought the word he, he gave her was the word she said right when she died, but I guess it was a, a word she said earlier. Load saying Extra features. Ooh, making of. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. The Prince of Persia was really born as a 40 pixel high silhouette. You know, he was running and jumping and dodging traps before I knew what his name was or what his story was. In the Montreal studio, the core team and I, we began to work on a, a very first mock-up of what we thought the game could be. And when actually Jordan was here, and when he uh, when he was watching what he had, uh, the whole team, seven core members and I, were watching him, himself watching the mock-up. And he was so flabbergasted. I saw the enthusiasm and uh, excitement and the new ideas that they had. I was convinced that they were really going to do something good, and I also knew that this was a project that I wanted to be a part of. 
It's the story of a prince who tried to save the day after heading himself from the chaos into a huge palace. His elf is an adventure by a young, mysterious princess and a magical dagger, but a villain visitors after him. We exaggerated the proportion of the tower on the rooms to create a more immersive and spooky universe. The prince can interact with almost everything, so we had to justify the whole design as security. We come up with something new, very sensuous, very immersive for the player. Uh, not too dark, not too cartoony either. Something that feels realistic but still is, I think the word is plausible. This type of level design and interactions with the environment allow us to implement cinematography techniques with the camera. We have the free camera, the fire camera, the first person view, and the alternate camera. is the main evil entity in the game that transformed the human into some creature. For this creature we wanted to have an organic and evil feeling mixing with three voices and avoid doing dead type sounds. We worked with game tracks who created most of our sound effects. All the rest was done here in the world. The music style had to fit the Persian look without being Persian music. We selected a mix between rock and Middle Eastern rhythm and melody with the engine flair. We worked with composer Stuart Chatwood, who is also part of the band Tea Party. He used different instruments like an engine tabla and cymbal, some vocalists and some string to create the diverse music we can find in the game. The sand, why does it grow? <clears throat> I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel. We played a lot around with the idea of Persian ninja, acrobatic stuff. Basically, we came up with a character drenched with a full range of movesets. In animating, we uh, used different principles, uh, but the two most important were uh, like strong posing to make like, like clearly what the character is doing and also follow through, uh, which is the way the animation end and the way we stagger the end of the movement to the different part of the body. First, we start off by uh, working the design of character and doing a paper sketch. Once we've got a good design, we move on to 3D creating the skeleton. On top of that, we uh, layer the polygon mesh and texture. And once we've got a satisfying uh, result, we let it age to see if it passes the test of time. The Prince has more than 750 animations. It doesn't have 750 moves, but here we're talking about all these little transitions animation that makes the Prince switching from a behavior to another very smoothly. Yeah. Basically, he has the most, the biggest range of moveset in any action adventure video game. Cool little uh, vignette. Is that the right word to end on? What is the definition of a vignette? Brief, evocative description, account, or episode. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, apparently the G is silent, so it's a vignette. Today I learned. 
Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing... Uh, well... Yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing some um, Smash or maybe even Little Nightmares. Just trying to find the extras or all the, like, all the hidden stuff. But, uh, Captain Pretzel is streaming Kirby... Is streaming some tournament, some net play, some net play tournaments. So since Captain Pretzel is a better Kirby than I, I figure we'll just raid Captain Pretzel. So that's what we're gonna do. That's it for watching. I hope you enjoy that. I know I did. That was a cool little ending. Um, if you missed it, uh, the VOD will be up for a couple weeks, and I will upload this to YouTube in the next few days. Which reminds me, I have to check if I uploaded the last chapter to YouTube. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. Anywho, it's time to raid Captain Pretzel, so let's go raid Captain Pretzel. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. Well, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now it's officially over. Bye, guys. Woo.